Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY. Today we're going to be making some support beams for some upcoming projects in one, on my house. We have to lift it and support under some joists. So today that's what we're going to be doing is making these support beams for that. The first thing that we need to do is we need to find the arch of our board and that just simply is done by looking down your board and finding what side is arched and what side is bowed or cut. So this side is my high side for the for the uh, board. So all we're going to do is put an arch on here, signifying that this side is the top side. And we want this facing up because that has the greatest support to it. It doesn't already. If you put it upside down, then it would have a sag to it already. So we want our strength to be in the arch like this. So we're going to do that to all three of our boards. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to glue our two pieces together. So I have a Type Bond 3. You guys can use construction adhesive, whatever you want. This stuff's really good. So we're just going to lay this stuff down, spread it out with a uh, spreader, and just get a nice thin coat over this entire board. So we got a nice good coat of glue onto this, so we're just going to take our next board, throw that right on top. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to clamp this thing down. So on our one side, we are going to make sure that the top of our boards, where it goes up against the joist, is going to be dead flat. So we're just going to come down the line here, get C-clamps, and clamp this thing together. So we went ahead and snugged all these down and we have some glue squeeze out so we know we have a good ample amount of glue in there. So the next thing we're going to do is send some nails to this stuff. So what we do is we'll just alternate. Um, we'll probably do about six to eight inches in between each nail. Now we can go ahead and just flip this board and take these clamps off. And then it's the exact same thing. We're gonna glue this, take this board, and set it right on top. So what we're doing is this, this will become our middle board. So we're nailing from the bottom of it and from the top and then just sandwiching everything together. Okay, so there you have it, a super strong laminate beam that you just made. Um, all in all, with nails, glue and stuff, this probably costs under 25 bucks per, per board. So it's a super great alternative to a laminate beam that you could buy. And this thing is gonna be extremely strong for whatever you need to be bracing. So I'm gonna leave these clamps on here for now. Let this uh, glue set up and dry. Uh, if you wanted to, if you found that you didn't get it very flush or on the back side um, that it's a little bit uh, uneven, what you can go ahead and do is take a hand plane or a power planer and just plane it off. I'm probably going to do that when this is done setting up and dried. That way we have a perfectly good uh, surface that won't rock on us. It's going to be dead flat and then we can just place that up against our joists. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to follow along and see more of the projects that we're doing with our house and putting in our I-beam and taking out that foundation wall, make sure you head over to Appalachian DIY, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for the new videos coming out. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.